All right, we're going to find the x and y intercepts of this uh, radical um, function here, uh, the square root of x plus 4 minus 5. Um, we're going to do this similar to how we found intercepts for other functions. We'll make an x, y t chart and uh, plug in uh, 0 in for x, and uh, we get the square root of 0 plus 4 minus 5. 0 plus 4 will be 4, and then we take the square root of that, that's going to be uh, 2. So 2 minus 5 is negative 3. So there is your uh, y-intercept. And now it is possible that uh, you will not have um, y-intercepts. Um, it's possible to have, you know, this is what the function will look like, some sort of uh, something, something along these lines. That's what the square root function looks like. And you can see this one over here doesn't cross the uh, the y-axis. So that is certainly possible. When that would happen is if we get a negative under the uh, square root when we evaluate it at zero. So just be aware of that. You may run into that, and you're probably not going to see it on your homework problem on the my open math though. Um, now to find the um, the x-intercept, that means the y is equal to zero. So again, remember y is f of x. And so we're going to replace the entirety of f of x uh, with 0. And we'll solve for x. Okay, so 0 is equal to x plus 4 under the square root minus 5. And you know how to solve this. This is a radical equation, so you can isolate the radical. That means we're going to plus 5 and, um, to both sides. And then to undo the square root, we're going to square both sides. So 25 is equal to x plus 4. And then we'll go ahead and subtract 4 from both sides, and we get 21 is equal to x. So there's our x and y intercepts of this uh, radical function.